I am so excited about filming this haul. There was so much stuff. Actually, it was two bags. It was two bags and a box. So good. Anyway, um, Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lucy Radwell and thanks so much if you're already subscribing to my channel and if you don't already please do subscribe if you enjoy this video. So you probably guessed this video is all about festival styling and festival fashion and the pieces that I've picked up from Misguided. Everyone is beginning to kind of think about what they're going to be wearing to festivals this year and like buying their key pieces early. Um, and obviously with the like the start of Coachella, I think it's this weekend. I feel like that really marks the beginning of the festival season, especially over here in the UK, because I feel like we see all the images on like Instagram and stuff, and then everyone's not thinking like getting all the inspiration of like what they're gonna wear and yeah, it just kinda like starts a little bit of a hype. So anyway, yeah, about three weeks ago Misguided literally launched their festival wear range. And I saw it and I just got so excited. Straight away I was like, oh my god, I need to do a festival wear haul on my channel because I'm just getting so like, so many ideas and vibes right now. I just need to release them. And plus I just wanted to get my hands on so many of the pieces. Um, so yeah, I literally ordered so much stuff. So much stuff. This massive box was full and two other like the giant misguided bags so much and my festival looks are kind of like an elevated version of my own personal style that is like what i would normally wear so yeah there'll be like sequins there'll be crochet there'll be lace there'll be denim you know but it'll be kind of like in a way that's quite in line with like my normal style but like it's a bit more fun like a little bit of a twist on what i would normally wear so i hope you guys like this and yeah i'm literally so excited to show you these pieces so i'm gonna get started first up we have a little mini dress it's a real like 70s vibe to it because it's got that kind of like swirly pattern and plus like the use of like a rainbow of colors the print on it is almost like it comes out of the dress like it's really textured which i also love it's just so eye-catching i literally i'm just mesmerized by the colors in it like it's so beautiful i absolutely love it and yeah because it's basically got this like swirly pattern on and just because it's so vibrant and bright i do think it's like really 70s which is also quite festivally um and yeah so it's a bardo style it just comes off the shoulder and it's like a super mini dress like i'm five foot eight so that probably be a good reference for you guys but yeah it is short but you know but a festival I feel like you can get away with anything pretty much so don't let that put you off and yeah I just I just love these colours through it I just think the colours that they've chosen to put through this dress is just so pretty like so nice and I teamed it with these white cowboy boots which are just so cute I absolutely love these I need to be so careful not to mark these. I feel like they will mark really easily. So I just want to try and be real careful. But I feel like they were quite cheap as well. They were quite affordable. So, you know, if they do get a few like little marks, it's not the end of the world. But obviously you want to try and keep things as nice as possible. Um, they've got a really like nice chunky heel on as well. So I actually feature these quite a few times throughout this haul. So you'll be able to see um, them styled up with like a few different kind of style outfits, which will be good for you guys. Now, it would not be a festival haul without some denim shorts. I love these. These are literally like the perfect high-waisted denim shorts. Like, I can't recommend these enough. I'm, like, so happy with these. And they also have a really nice extra bit of detailing going along the um, side, which I think is cute. And the, obviously, it's a little frayed at the bottom. Um, and, yeah, so I chose to team them with the cutest jangly little gypsy style crop top don't you just love the way that jangles about literally like i love that how you'll be like dancing moving about and it'll be all like jangling everywhere um so yeah this is just really simple like tie round bardo style little crop oh my god you could totally wear this as like a sarong as well in summer on holiday I am so doing that. That will look so cute. Anyway, yeah, so I I absolutely love this top and I feel like it went so well with the denim. I really like denim with like silver. Um, so yeah, I wore it with that and I teamed it with this really nice 
belt. I feel like it really tied in the silver well again. So yeah, really liked how that belt kind of tied in that top with that outfit. Oh, and also with this top, I should mention that I literally just wore this little black bandeau top underneath, which I've actually included in quite a lot of the styles you will see as we go through this video. Um, just because if you wanted to wear a bra underneath that top, it would be like really visible. So if you wear a bra and put this over the top of it and then tie this around, it just looks like part of the top and you, you know, it doesn't like take anything away from like the main detail of it, but it's just like a little bit of extra um secureness so yeah i will obviously link this below with everything else and i also teamed it with these amazing little ankle cowboy boots really love those they're so comfortable as well and this hat which i'm absolutely loving and it's got this cute little strip around there as well which has got a little bit of turquoise in so i really like that little pop of color um yeah i feel like if you're ever gonna experiment with wearing a hat if you don't normally a festival is definitely the time to do it next up is this amazing sequin cord and i think this actually came in a few colors but i just loved the kind of greeny like light greeny color of this oh my god look how it shimmers oh so nice and obviously it comes with a little mini skirt as well well it doesn't come with a mini skirt you have to buy them separately so if you wanted, you can even have like the, the skirt and the top like two different colours. Like I think it comes with purple and, and green, I'm not too sure. Obviously everything's going to be linked below, so you'll be able to find out. I chose to get the greeny colour just because I think this is a colour that I suit well with kind of my blonde hair. Um, and yeah, the one thing I will say is that I actually had to... Um, size up in this skirt originally ordered an eight which was what i would normally buy from this guy did but it was so small it came up really small i literally couldn't get over my legs so um i sent it back and got a size 10 and to be honest even this is quite tight so i would say like definitely size up if you want to buy like these skirts because i think it's because it doesn't have any stretch in it like literally it is what it is like you there's no like giving it at all so um just bear that in mind if you wanted to pick that up and this jacket is just amazing. I love how the um, sleeves are like slightly like bat wing style. It just gives a really nice kind of relaxed, casual vibe to it. And I would definitely, you know, team this with other items like little like black leather skirt or something. Um, yeah, so nice. So yeah, I chose to team it with my Fila Kicks just because I got these recently and I am obsessed with them. They look so cute with skirts as well. And yeah, I just feel like I'll be wearing these loads in summer. And I feel like trainers are such a good, comfortable option for um, festival wear. Um, so yeah, I teamed it with these. But if you have some like little sandals, that would look cute too. But I personally love wearing trainers for festivals or even just like Converse. Next up, we're really bringing like the Saint-Tropez chic vibes to the festival with this black tight like slip bodycon lacy maxi dress with the slit i feel like this is quite coachella i feel like this is probably what i would have worn if i was going like i think i feel like this is really classy as well um and i literally teamed it with this little bardo top underneath because obviously it's like completely laced like nothing's built in underneath it so you need to kind of plan ahead with that um, so this worked out really well with that top and I literally just wore like a thong bikini bottoms underneath um, Again, I got these from misguided love them because they're obviously like really high on the um, High on the hips. That is not what you say High legged high hips You know what I mean when they come high up they don't go like across they go like up which is like so much more flattering um, so yeah, like you do get a little like a bit of, obviously you don't have to wear thong one, but I feel like a little bit of bum cheek is okay at a festival. Like I'm sure there's going to be other people with a lot more on show than a little bit of bum cheek and you know, we're not in the 50s anymore, honey. So yeah, a little bit of bum cheek is completely fine. And plus it's not like full on on show. It's just because you can see a little bit of skin through here. But I think that's quite like sassy and sexy. Like I like that. Embrace it. So yeah, I wore the thong bikini underneath and because it is a bikini like it's a little bit thicker than it's not like you're wearing like just knickers you know what i mean not wearing like lacy knickers so yeah i feel like 
it just looks like it's part of the dress anyway. Anyway, I will link one below, of course, for you guys. I feel like this body chain really steals the show with this look. Yes. Yeah, I just feel like it creates a really nice classy look. So I feel like I'm really vibing on this look right now. This would be what I would wear to Coachella. And of course I wore these gladiator sandals with the maxi as well, um, which was so comfortable actually. I feel like I will wear these a lot. Like I was saying earlier, I'm not like a massive sandals kind of girl, but I do really like these. They look really nice on. And what else I love about them is that they've got a zip up the back, so it, you don't have to do up all of these um, like buckles on the side. So it's really easy and quick to put on. Um, so yeah, and I just thought this went so nicely with like all the gold on um, the accessories. And obviously just finished it off with these incredible giant gold hoops. Literally, these hoops are massive. Like, just as a comparison, these are the hoops I normally wear that I, I thought were big. And this is the new hoop. This is you, and this is the hoop she told you not to worry about. Like, honestly so extra but I love it I'm all about that and I feel like it really finished off that look well um I haven't jewelried up these outfits as much as I would if I was actually you know finalizing each and every single one of them but I would definitely like jewelry to the max at festivals next up we have another super cute little dress so those of you that are quite girly like me um, will probably love this as well. It's the little, another Bardo style, which is really nice for festivals, I think, because it gets a little bit of shoulder on show. Um, really fitted kind of, I don't know, it's got like that German um, <coughs> barmaid vibes. I don't know, what's it called? I can't remember. Just because of like the little lace up thing and like the little puffy sh shoulders either side, it's just so nice. And yeah, I just love like the red pinky like gingham pattern and it's so flattering because it's such a tight like fitted style, it just looks really nice on. Um, so I teamed it with the little um, white ankle boots, the little cowboy boots again. But you could literally, like I was saying before, like wear these with some kicks and trainers, some converse or some sandals, like I think for festivals wear something on your feet that you find comfortable um so yeah i think converse would actually look really cute with this because it's got like the red in it as well next up we have like a sassy crocodile dundee-esque look <laughs> which i am loving and it's basically um ah this um snake print two-piece which I literally, I didn't even realise it was a two-piece until I literally saw this skirt and I thought, oh yes, I love that snake print. I feel like festivals is just the perfect time to experiment with like different patterns, different colours, different materials like denim, sequins, crochet, lace. Um, so when I saw this like amazing like snake print skirt with like the studs through it, I just thought that was like, incredible. And I was literally like looking for a top to go with it. And um, I just randomly stumbled across the matching co-ord top. I did not realise it was part of a co-ord, but I was like, yes, I'm all about that. This top, I remember it came up tight when I tried it on. I think I got an eight. Yeah, so I would usually be an eight, just doesn't have any stretching. So yeah, if you're, unless you're kind of like a really small size, whatever, I would order the next size up, if that makes sense. So if you're like a small eight, you would be fine but if you're just like a normal eight i would definitely just like size up so yeah but how cute is that and i love how i found a little snake cream coals so yeah i was all about them crocodile dundee vibes and um i just kind of like layered it up a little bit with this cute overlay top with like the wide um sleeves and like the tying at the top which i thought was really nice because like tying like the brownie tones and again, finished it off with this amazing hat, which is the exact same as the black one, but it's in this like tan colour. And um, yeah, I love that. And like, you could literally, if you wanted to, this actually comes off. I, it is glued on, but if you didn't want it to be glued on, you can just pull it off like that. It just came off quite easily, to be honest. But um, yeah, so you can literally have that on its own and wear this with like 
another cute outfit in the summer or festival it up and get the little band around it and just sit it on the top. So it's, uh, yeah, multi-use and I love that colour. And again, I teamed it with my um, trainers, but if you had some like brown sandals that you love or even just some like Vans or some Converse, just like, yeah, that would go really well, I think. Next up, we have the most amazing statement star print skirt. How cool is that? And it's kind of like A-line style, so it really cinches in at the waist. So yeah, it's very flattering. And I just love the stars. Like, yeah, stars are so on for festival season. Like, yes, I'm all about that. I love, love, love that. And I teamed it with this little crochet number. So yeah, a little tiny crochet number. I love crochet. And I just thought, oh my God, that just looks so nice with that. And this top comes in quite a few different colors. Um, I really want to get the white actually for holiday as well. That looks so nice. But I thought with this skirt, like the little black looks so, so cute. Um, this comes up slightly big. I actually got, I had to send, I got a medium originally. I had to send it back and then I changed it for the extra small. Um, and yeah, this is the extra small now and it's not even like it's super tight. So yeah, this does come up quite big actually. So bear that in mind if you wanna um, purchase this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy the white in this because I just think it's so nice, such a nice style. So next up, we have another little black dress number. Um, yeah, I, oh my God, I love crochet so much. I think it looks so cute. So basically it's like this halter neck dress which again, I literally, I wore the thong bikini underneath it and that little bardo top across. Honestly, these little staples are just so handy to have. Um, so yeah, I put that on underneath it and then I just wrapped it with this amazing gold belt. I'm so happy I picked this belt up because I feel like I'll use it for so many different looks. Like I love how like it's a really bright gold. Isn't that such a nice bright gold? So anyway, yeah, I like teamed that with that gorgeous dress. And now I know I teamed it with these heels, which a lot of people will be like, well, you wouldn't wear those heels to a festival. Well, if you're going to something like a little bit more VIP, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what you could wear this with. Um, so yeah, it's basically like these most incredible peace and love heels, which Honestly, I just, oh, the heel is perspex. It's got amazing, like, baby pink and gold through it, which obviously ties in with the gold belt so well. Um, and I just thought, I know, like, obviously, if you're going to Glastonbury, you're probably going to be wearing wellies, not these. But if you're going to some an event or even just, like, a holiday, like, pool party, like, Marbs vibes or something, I know it's not necessarily festival, but I just wanted to show you guys what that crochet dress looks like with these heels because it just looks so cool. Obviously, if you're going to just like a normal festival when you're going to be like standing in a field, you'd probably wear that dress with like some trainers, some converse or some sandals. It's the end of this haul. I actually feel really disappointed that it's over because I've absolutely loved talking about the looks that I've created. And um, I really hope that you have found a little bit of inspiration from the outfits that I have put together or even just individual pieces that you've spotted that you love and you think you'd like to style that in a way that's slightly different. Like the whole purpose of this, of this video is just to give you guys some inspiration. And yeah, so I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Of course, everything is going to be linked in the description box below. So make sure you check it out. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and lay it out in the clearest way possible so you can find the items that you love quickly. And yeah, please do subscribe if you don't already. Um, and thanks again for watching, guys.